Hey guys, it's Carly, Fairy Gut Mother here, and today we are talking about how to render pork fat, or more commonly referred to as lard. Now, most people cringe when they hear the word lard, but lard actually has a tremendous amount of health benefits. For example, lard is really high in vitamin D, and it's also high in monounsaturated fats, which are the healthy fats that give olive oil its health benefits. Plus, fat is actually the preferred source of energy for the body, so it helps keep your energy level stable over a longer period of time. So we wanna start off with about a pound of pork fat. You can use a variety of different fats. You can use back fat, kidney fat, and even pork trimmings. But I have about a pound of pork fat right here. And you also wanna make sure that the pork is humanely raised, so no hormones or antibiotics, because not only is this going to yield a better quality lard at the end of the day, but it's also gonna be more nutrient dense as well. So we start off with our pound of pork fat here, and then we just start cutting it into tiny little pieces. You also want to make sure that the pork fat is chilled. It's just a lot easier to cut that way. Okay, now that you have that all done, you want to just transfer all the pork fat into a Dutch oven. And then turn the heat on about medium heat. And then we'll add about a third cup of water. Now the water just really helps to absorb some of the heat. And then give that a nice stir. The reason why we want to keep stirring this around is because we don't want the pork to burn at the bottom of the pan. That's actually going to ruin the end result of the lard. So as the pork fat begins to cook down a little bit, we have a really nice base going here. And then we're going to go ahead and transfer it into the oven at about 250 degrees Fahrenheit for about two to three hours. So it's been about a couple hours now. I'm going to go ahead and check on this. This looks amazing. So it's this nice golden brown color is what we're kind of looking for here. And then a little bit of the crispies on top. And now we're gonna go ahead and strain this and transfer this into a bowl. So you're gonna go ahead and just let this set. And eventually it'll turn into this nice white, creamy and silky texture as your lard. And you can use this in all of your stovetop cooking and frying. I love to cook my eggs in it. You can also use it for baking. I love baking these carrot raisin muffins with lard as it's super tasteful. And then you can also take these crispies and fry them over the stove, season them with a little bit of sea salt, um, add them in your salads, or just have them as a nice snack. Hopefully you're encouraged now to render your own pork fat at home, and that way you get to use it in all of your various recipes and experience the amazing health benefits.